The USS Yorktown was sunk by a Japanese submarine in the Battle of Midway in June 1942 and now rests at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. A crew exploring the final resting site of a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier that was sunk during World War II found something puzzling. On April 19th and 20th, Noe A Ocean Exploration and Partners used a remotely operated vehicle to continue ongoing explorations of the USS Yorktown at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, according to Noe A. The 809-foot-long carrier took part in several World War II operations before being sunk by a Japanese submarine in the Battle of Midway in June 1942. Several investigations of the Yorktown shipwreck have been made since it was discovered in 1998, about 1,000 miles northwest of Honolulu. But the most recent dives were the first to explore the ship's hangar. During the operation on April 19th, the crew observed the faint outline of an automobile while looking into the aft hangar deck from the port side. After analysis of the diagnostic features of the vehicle, it was tentatively identified as a 1940-41 Ford Super Deluxe, more familiarly known as a Woody, in black. The words ship service, you are Navy, are written on part of the car's front plate, leading researchers to suspect that the vehicle could have been used by Rear Admiral Frank Jack Fletcher, Captain Elliot Buckmaster, or other crew members while the Yorktown was docked in foreign ports. But what has left researchers baffled is the fact that the car remained stowed in the hangar deck following a brief 48-hour repair period in Pearl Harbor, despite the ship's officers knowing they were headed to engage in the Battle of Midway. According to No AA, the discovery of the car raises questions such as, during the valiant efforts to write Yorktown's list, why too wasn't this car jettisoned like the anti-aircraft guns and the aircraft? And did this automobile carry any particular importance to crew and officers who hoped it could be saved? Observations of this marine life made throughout the ROV dives on April 19th and 20th are important in helping us better understand how the deep ocean environment changes over time, Noah noted.